So here we are then, back once again with our Wimbledon playthrough on Grand Slam Tennis 2. Thank you for the incredible support on part 1. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that like button down below. Today we take on Boris Becker, uh, of course, the... Uh, the German legend and uh, wonderful commentator as well. Can't wait to, to get into this match. We played pretty well against Bjorn Borg in the previous uh, match. And today we're playing for the, the chance to take on Pete Sampras on centre court. So I'm, I'm curious where this match is going to be. Is it going to be on court one? Is it going to be on centre? We shall find out. Hi, this is John Macrino. With me today is Pat Cash. Welcome to this match. This match today is sure to be a real contest between two players who have done well getting through to the quarterfinals. To the right to the chair, Boris Becker. Boris Becker. To the left of the chair, Roger Federer. 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 So Roger Federer versus Boris Becker. Becker elected to serve. Time. Time. Well, I expect a fantastic Back match play. today between these two. Let's get into it. Oh, what a start! Serving volley from Becker, and that was only a 50 mile an hour serve. Backed up with a beautiful serve there. I'll tell you what, this could be an interesting battle today against Again, Boris. Moving quickly, making sure his opponent doesn't have time to recover from that wide position off court. Nice one. Well, he really well played. Any chance. And, uh, we are on well, centre, of course. Anyway, that was just a fantastic all round game. And here we are, another game. Oh, well, this is good stuff. For the winner. Oh, trying to serve and volley there. Got to get a first serve in here, right? You want you're desperate for a free oh. point. Yeah, you got to. This, uh, so well, good. you know, and next point, of course, love 40 here in real, real trouble. So, looking for a big first serve oh. here. Oh dear, oh, double fault. First serve. Thinking he might be going for something on the serve. Oh, but nice ace, first, first point of the match for us. Oh no, well played, yeah. Boris Becker. Breaks. Break. Well, you want to show who's boss. Uh, you get that early break. That's definitely going to have some impact on your opponent. I think that's what you're going to see here. All right, the player is looking to consolidate on serve after breaking their opponent. If he can get the service hold here, he can really take control of this match. Well, I tell you what, this is good stuff from Boris. Nice. All right, John. Discuss the pros and cons of hitting your shots deep. Well, there's not too many cons, first of all. I mean, perhaps you won't be in position to volley if you're moving into net because players hit it so fast. So maybe there's a con there. But when you hit good depth, it gives your opponent less time and he's feeling more pressure that he's going to come up with something. Yeah, special. lovely. Highly what a backhand that hit, was. Hit with depth. Obviously, there's a need to make your opponent get on the move and to challenge their fitness level, right, Pat? Well, absolutely. You've got to make your opponent move. You've got to test out their, their strengths yeah, and nice. their weaknesses. You'll see how Just about they managed it, but we have, have brought up break-back like. point. And it's uh, the only way, really, to get, get to the weakness is to, to find one of the strengths and then hit it back the other side. Nice. There we go. Back on serve. Early in this match on centre.
Well, he's about to serve at the start of the game. Well, that's an ace right to the body. Couldn't get into position quick enough. Yes, it's very good. It's very good from Boris. That's great touch, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, lovely backhand down the line. Well, in point now. In, but he was uh, he was ready for it. He knew exactly what was going on. Yeah, lovely. Good hold that and uh, back. He kept the pressure up, didn't make any easy mistakes, and now he's got the momentum on his side. That's nice. I don't know why sometimes it glitches out and moves your player across. That's very annoying. Volley winner. Yeah, very nice. Oh. Very nice. And game point now. Oh, we stumped that forehand across court for a winner. Force the winner and set up an easy volley or smash put away. It could still really get your opponent off guard and uncomfortable if you catch the ball early and take the ball on the rise and come in a little bit before he's expecting it. That could really throw him. Yeah, very good, very good. Return volley there. And now, break point. Done it. Oh, great awesome. Absolutely that? awesome. That's not fair. That's impressive. Well, the forehand clearly is one of his stronger shots. And very cleverly done. Using good footwork, of course, to get around, skip around the backhand. The forehand, a bit more powerful than the backhand in general. Gives him a few more options. Very intriguing match so far. So from a breakdown, we're now a break up. Pure reflex from that big serve. Clean winner. Absolutely oh, lovely. Just incredible tennis. All right, Mac. What's the pros and cons of attacking the net? I know you love this stuff. Oh, I love this. Obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself well. Arthur Ashe used to tell me, cover the line. Cut off that angle so if the guy goes cross court, you can just stick your racket out. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softer to give you more time to give yourself oh. that position. Well, Sometimes <laughs> you need to <laughs> made him play the extra shot. The point. Oh, well, how did we manage to win that? That was ridiculous. All the way, finishing it off with something even bigger. 
Smith. Beautiful return. Just deflected the power of that serve for a winner. Mm. Break point. point after just having been broken. That often happens in tennis. You lose your serve, but you refocus and bring the intensity up and try to get that break right back. Oh, what a second serve. Wow. So juice again. Well, that's a clean ace. Hit like a rocket. Yeah, he's Johnny's done it. Back, back on serve. Really ease up at the moment, is it, John? He's starting to play some good tennis. Great returning. Certainly a huge break back there, but maintain the focus. As a matter of fact, try to up it a little bit. Play even harder now, because usually your opponent's very upset. But if he's got championship quality, he's going to dig a little deeper, and he's going to make you work harder now. So this is a key game here, now, even up. Oh, not an easy shot. Great cross court volley winner. Oh, so annoying that glitch. That we like, just had to throw our racket at it. Absolutely nothing his opponent could do about that. Awesome. That was an absolutely lovely backhand. With a little bit more meat on it. Right into the corner. A crucial position here. Break point. Yeah, nice. Took that ball nicely before it dipped. Great volley winner. Be serving in the right spot on this break point. Well, that's a great break to serve. Then fantastic tennis. It looks like he's seeing the serve really well right now. And that's that's hard to do. These guys serve bigger than ever. So your hand. There we go. That's the break. If you're going to get breaks like you just saw there, that's well done. And of course, the on the grass court, the big serve is always dominating. Where do you think? As a left-hander, is the best place to serve. Well, I would always love the air court. A lot of big points there. You like to slice the ball out wide. Now, you do run the risk of giving your opponent an angle. So if you do catch the ball a little early and use your opponent's pace off that serve, you can hit a winner. So you have to really be pinpoint if you're going to go out wide because that opens up the court more. Oh, unlucky, but like still well, he struggling there. Get ourselves a break consolidated here. Lovely. Oh, oh, oh. Game point now. Oh, 
And there it is. He's got hold. Well, the player was down in this game, but has roared back and has pulled this game out. That's a strong effort. Oh, what a return. Didn't necessarily see that coming. Slightly wrong footed, but coming back, hit a beautiful forehand. Dead all there. Wrong footed. Which has been a very good shot today. All right, John. It was a slight, slight serve, but we got out you there. Somehow, you can't seem to get, get it down there. Can't seem to beat him. What's the, what's the option to do? Well, give him credit for masking it, or give him credit for minimizing it and running good, around good, it. Good. You've got to open up the court a little bit so that that weakness is exposed and easier to attack. That's when you move in for the kill. Oh, what's he doing there? That's the easiest smash I've ever seen. Yeah. Right He's had place, a game so. plan in this game and it's sticking to it. But now, becoming a bit predictable. He's half a break chance here. <laughs> oh, he's cracking that serve right down the middle for an ace. Speaking of predictable, obviously not. But when he does serve out there, we can get that clean winner edge. Yeah. Well, here we go. Opportunity here. Set point. Well, that's why they call him Boom Boom. What a serve. Well, it's brilliant from Boris Becker. And there it is, even though we had set point. He's still down that Couldn't one make break. Pay. The pressure's on the server here now, though. He realizes that he could have and should have perhaps won that set, yet he's going to have to step up to that line and serve this out. Definitely tense time. Oh, oh badly hit that shot. Poor error. So we are serving for this set, of course. Yeah, nice. Well, he's got it all. Fantastic stuff. All court play. Finishing by a big winner. Oh, oh bad mistake. Mm. Just hit that back end altogether. Well, set well, point on the right here. And there it is, so we do win the first set, 6-4. Very nice. Uh, unassailable lead. Well, I can tell you from experience that it ain't over till it's over, and that was the case there. You let down this little bit in a tournament as big as this, and it could be over. Be gone. He's going to have to regroup in a hurry. The underdog is certainly giving his higher-ranked opponent a run for his money. Straight into the net there, that was a pity. Starting to dominate the game just like we did against Bjorn. 
Yeah, there you go. Very nice. That's good high percentage play. Keeping pressure on his opponent, playing within himself. You don't want to get outside your comfort zone. And he did a good job there. Now he's got a real edge psychologically. Oh, you don't want too many of those coming around. That's a bad double fold he's hit. Yeah. Long footing his opponent. And that's where he's unbelievably strong. I mean, from that position, to be able to hit a clean winner just shows how strong he really is. Oh, that was an error. Bad play. Well, Boris starting to hit some unforced errors now. Yeah, nice one. Didn't hit the, the backhand smash. Into the crowd. Souvenir for somebody back in row 25. All right, the player has a break point after just having been broken. This would be huge right here if he could get the break right back. Well, there you go. Back. He's still in this set. That has just totally turned the tide now. I mean, it looked like his opponent there was going to walk away with this set. Next thing you know, you look at the scoreboard, they're even. Whole new ball game here. Momentum swing. Serious momentum swing there. Okay, the player is looking for a, a strong service game here to consolidate the break and really take control of this match. Oh, he's in a winner. Cross court forehand. Yeah, very good play. Just what gonna do, you do now. You try to just go for even more, take something off it, stay back. Do you switch gears that fast? Well, you think yeah. uh, the first couple of points of end this, is, so this is very, very brutal. I'll be hoping that uh, you know gets a bit of rhythm here. Maybe not go for something too crazy. Just try and get a good solid point. There you go. Four very quick points there to get the break back. And they're about to start this game. What a return. That big serve. Clean winner. Very good. Crucial. It took his time, it would have floated back, but we know how good he is around the net. <laughs> well, the trademark Boris Becker dive there. That was awesome. Watch this. Keeps it in, but we managed to finish off the point. This is consolidation point, and there we go. Fantastic lobbies hit there. That is a tough shot. 
Oh, what a drop shot Three that is. Shot. Risky play, and it paid off. Yeah. That's a nice tactic. Oh. Yeah, sure. Well, he's done that back here down the line for a winner. Nice. I'll tell you why I like that game. Absolutely. That was great play. We'd like to see a bit more of that. Might have been exactly on the line, but it was hit so hard, nothing you could do about that at the net. Oh, he's just blown that one. Oh, he's moved well across the net there and then hit a clean winner. Corner. Oh, oh an unforced error. We do hold serve in the end. 2 4 now. Oh, that just came from nowhere, didn't it? Oh, bad mistake off the forehand. There is too many unforced errors going on in this match. What's going to happen to the outcome, John? Oh, that could be the difference between winning and losing. Let's face it, I'd love to play an opponent who made a lot of unforced errors. That was like, thank you very much, I will take that. <laughs> yes, please. And the key then is to continue to play high percentage tennis and allow your opponent to beat himself. Well, he didn't have time to return there. He got jammed up. One of his best shots of the day, back in, down the line winner. Well, he's kept the pressure on, there's half a chance for a break here. Oh, he's just absolutely bumped that serve for an ace. Well, some of these serves are terrific. From Boris, but... Oh, uh, return. Don't see that every day. He's a guy that has, derives incredible power in those legs. It's a pretty simple motion, and I think in the future you're going to see more guys serve like him. Yeah, well, it was good work holding that serve there. But, uh, <laughs> Very good. 4 3 now. It's a good thing he found his game before he gave up that break. Oh, what a return. That was great. What an awesome backhand he's hit. Oh dear, almost into the crowd. Bad serve. I can serve. That just caught the line. Didn't get the angle right. Yeah, lovely. Put away overhead. All right, you're playing someone who's consistently angling you off the court from the baseline, Pat. What do you do? Well, one of the options is to stand up a bit closer to the baseline. Then, of course, you can sneak into the net 
And if they are getting angles, that means they're going across court. Well, then yet the net, you know that's going cross court. Look for that cross court passing shot. Remember, keep your eye on the ball because there's some vicious spin coming and you need to watch that ball into the racket or easy miss it. Game point now. Oh, just about okay. And then we go 5-3. Looks like he's the favorite to win this set. Oh, good touch, able to find the space cross court for the volley winner. Oh, came straight back to us, but we couldn't get up in time, unfortunately. Oh! Really had to dive to try and get the racket on the ball, and it's gone for a winner. This has been a very good hold. Come back at. Game well, his service game. rhythm is, seems to be absolutely perfect at the moment. Everything seemed to click there. A nice, easy service hold. So we are serving for the second set. That's an absolute bullet. What a serve. Lovely serve down the tee. And finally, he's got set point. Two set points. And there we go, we win it. So, two sets to love up. Two breaks. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's what you thought. And now all of a sudden he's in a winning position, I tell you. That's a tremendous effort there. Oh, Boris Becker has all the shots. A brilliant winner. Oh, Lots of racket cool. speed required for that top spin, and that just went wrong. No, not good enough. Uh, good shot. Great shot. Blistering winner after all those power shots. Fantastic. Oh, strong, solid wrist on that volley. What a winner. He's got a great motion well. as we saw in that game. And he's got some excellent core shape. He's a big brute of a guy at 6'3. Very intimidating guy. And it's just very impressive. Slight lapse of concentration in that last game. Cross 
Yeah, nice. Nice next. one there. Big backing. Oh, what a shot. Game point now. Some 40 lords. Could have been smelly, but it hasn't been. And we are back to one all now. You also got what you see a lot, Pat, is this one two punch in the game now. They got the big serve, they followed up with those huge forehands. Oh, it's out. Well, there's a big chance. Love, Love 30 here. Going aggressive. Lovely. Well, that's great ability. He's got quickly in a good position. Hasn't overswung. And pushed the ball down the line for a winner. Awesome. We get the break, and now really take control. You can get another break here. Oh, it's all over, isn't it? That's that's what I'm saying. Oh, a lovely winner off the return. He's really smacking it now. If we can just hold on. Oh, I missed time that altogether. I don't know what he was doing there, but that's it. Oh, what a return! Thirty here. Point after Two just points. having been broken. That often happens in tennis. You lose your serve, but you refocus and bring the intensity up. And and there he goes. Right well done, yeah. Boris Becker. Back on serve to all. Well, we're back underway here. Step strongly into that volley. Well done. Nice. Well, he's hit the spot with that volley. That's brilliant stuff. Getting in quickly. Good technique. Getting his weight behind the ball. That's what you call a very good recovery. Not surprising he breaks it. There's some great return. That's for sure. That's a good break. And now need a stronghold here. And here we are back again. Oh, beautiful return. Just deflected the power of that serve for a winner. Just cutting that angle off beautifully there. It takes a lot of touch to hit a shot like that. Yeah. I mean, he looks like he's on course to break serve again. I don't know what he's doing here, but.
Oh! How annoying. There's no break point. Oh, that was a lovely slapped forehand there. Well, it's the first time he's got the juice. Good pressure. Point now. Well, that'll give him some. Oh, it was out. Well, there you go. That's a long game right there. Goes back and forth. You both feel like you have chances. So, in one way, you have one guy that's extremely frustrated, the other guy a bit of sense of relief. It'd be interesting to see how the next couple games pan out. Well, the player was down in the game, but turned it around and looks to pull this game out. Well, against the roller play, he's hit a brilliant winner there. No. Nope. Moving in quickly, making sure his opponent doesn't have time to recover from that wide position off court. No, bad mistake, Molly. That's a miss. Thirty all here. Yeah, Boris, when he comes to the net, he's almost unplayable. Well, only two points away from the game. Oh, what a shot! He's taking revenge on that ball. He's hit the cover off it. Break point. We took seven of ten in this match. Make that eight of eleven. Certainly with the racket technology they have today, Pat, not totally out of it yet. Better chance to hit bigger returns, so it's, there's still some hope here, but things looking a little bleak. Have to start thinking ahead a little bit now. Well, he's got it all lined up, John. He's serving for the match. Can he pull oh. it out? Oh, it's all about nerves now. You dream about this position to get to a point where you're serving for the match, but that's oh. often the toughest game to win. That elbow oh dear. hurting a little bit. The legs start getting a little weary and heavy, and it's awful tough to get those first oh. serves in. Oh, this is three point. very, very Big poor serves. Two. Oh! Not too many second serve aces going around. Great serve from him. No drop shot. Oh, wasn't it very good? Backhand smash. Oh, and that's out. Wow. 30-15. Make that 40-15 and two match points now to get through to a match with Pete Sampras in the semi-final. And we've done it. To win that through that quarter final, the matches don't get any easier from now on, do they? Well, you're looking at the other side of seven matches in a Grand Slam event. You've been through five now. That's only two to go. So you see light at the end of the tunnel. And presumably, people are going to get fired up to see the semis. Usually, the top four players or so are going to be left, barring a big upset. So you may see your best tennis coming up. You can let it loose a little bit, because those are the players you've anticipated playing the entire event. So this this could be quite exciting now. Well, there you go. Then that is the end John of that. Thank you for joining us today. It's great to have you alongside Max, seeing your, hearing your expertise and. I think we had a great day. Hey, good work with you. Well, we got to get out in the court more often and see what we got left. <laughs> <laughs> that was very, very good. Uh, we beat Becker 6 4, 6 4, 6 2. It wasn't an easy match, but again, we haven't lost a set yet, so 
I've got to be happy. Got to be happy. And now... Let's see who we would be playing in the final. Is it going to be Djokovic or McEnroe? It would be Novak Djokovic. So what a match we have in prospect for the Wimbledon final. Will it be Federer or Sampras facing Novak Djokovic in it? If you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more tennis content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.